Sometimes I wonder how Mr. Jones gets all his information. <sighs> Beats me. He sure is connected, though. We'd be nowhere without him. Hmm. What did he do before the war? Nah, I don't know. Probably worked on Wall Street or something. I think Chris and him go way back. Oh, there you are. Good work handling that Soviet stronghold. Very inspired. We've really stirred them up this time. They've added plenty of reinforcements. We'll need to start operating at night, so stick to the shadows and avoid their floodlights. There are three areas to deal with here. The Soviets are unloading BTRs at the docks. That'll be our first target. Next is the power plant. Some of our fighters tried to take it last night, but were caught. We think they're being held somewhere close by. Last is the movie theater. It's a bit of a mystery to us, but a lot of troops are moving in and out of the area, so we need to take action. This will be a tough assignment, Chris. We know you can handle it. Bring down the bridges. We need to choke off reinforcements and equipment being transported from warehouses out to the surrounding areas. Some elite Soviet forces have their HQ located here, so it's heavily guarded. Hoist our flag over it. It'll be a tremendous boost to our fighters' morale. Hello everyone, and welcome to our Freedom Fighters Let's Play. Today we continue our adventure with Manhattan Warehouse District. The Soviet soldiers took my son. He did nothing. They're holding a whole group of people down at the harbor. Oh, this is horrible. Please help. I want my son back. Don't worry, ma'am. We're going to get your son back. Don't you worry. We're going to pick up some of our freedom fighters here real quick. And ultimately, we should be able to get him rescued before very long. But we do also need to be worrying about these bridges. We actually have a pretty important mission that we're currently working on right now. So don't worry. We'll get your son taken care of. But I need to take care of these bridges in the meantime. Alrighty, so we were able to take care of those guys with relative ease. Not really a whole lot of difficulties, but I didn't figure considering that we have four other gentlemen with us, and that should make our life a little bit easier. Now let's head over to this other marker over here. I'm actually going to pull out our beautiful frag grenade, so that way we can try to Kobe this right inside of there. Alright, so we do have a guy all the way up on top here, which is actually shooting down on our friendlies right now. So obviously going to get a couple of beautiful shots into the stomach with him. Obviously, if he wants to survive, he's going to have to go have some big, big surgery. And, well, hopefully he won't do that. Help us get out of here! Thanks. Get us back to the sewers, quick! Reds will be crawling all over the place. Alright, so we were able to get those prisoners back to our home base, which will actually be really beneficial to them. Gotta be careful of that guy, he's kind of an erratic driver. It's almost the second or third time that he's almost ran us over. I will follow. Alright, so we picked up another guy. Obviously we're starting to get a small little army going over here. 
Now let's actually work our way back over to the middle. I believe there's actually a bridge which should give us access. So as we kind of come up on that here before very long, we should be able to utilize it to kind of work our way over to hopefully our next objective markers. Alright, so let's actually work our way all the way to the very tippy top here. See if we can do a little bit of crouch walking to make ourselves a little bit more stealthier. And then obviously we do have a train here, which I'm going to venture and say probably will kill us if we stand in front of it. Now, as this train finalizes, we should be able to clear up the rest of these guys. I do really enjoy these guys with the semi-auto shotguns, considering that they just absolutely destroy everybody in their sights, though. Alright, so we gotta be careful of that sniper. I don't know if you guys caught him, but he's actually inside of that window over there. Let's see if we can actually switch over to a frag grenade and maybe give him a well-placed grenade. Obviously got a little bit of action going on down there. Trying to find our assault rifle again, and we'll work our way all the way inside of this building. That is so many guys that are just, like, lurking inside of them. It'd be such a shame if we threw a grenade at them. So I think we did a little bit of damage there to those guys, but unfortunately we can't quite throw it as far as I would have hoped for, but we can definitely kind of destroy their cover a little bit and make them a little bit shaken by... All of our supreme firepower that we possess. Now let's actually spend a little bit of time. We're going to work our way down here. Try to get our gun all ready. As we slowly but surely check all of our corners. Because obviously we don't want anybody kind of lurking around down here. Alright so we got a section over here. Which I'm going to venture and say is probably where to... The flag is actually located. However, I know we have another bridge that we need to be spending some time taking care of. Obviously, at the moment, we're also being flanked by several different guys over here. So I'm going to actually try to get some of this cover, but in the meantime, I'm actually coming up behind quite a bit of these guys at the moment. Alright, so we were able to successfully take care of all those guys with kind of relative ease. I felt like we did that pretty successfully, but let's actually venture back over here and see if we can find our mysterious bridge that we're actually missing. Now, it looks like if we actually head over this way, we should be running up on another roadblock, but obviously at the moment there's also a chopper which is just consistently dropping down all kinds of reinforcements. Hoping that my squad mates will be able to help us out here quite a bit. I'm going to jump on this MG though and just absolutely obliterate that guy. But in the meantime, as I come across here, we should be able to set up our final piece of C4 and then we'll rally back up and go secure the point. Alright, let's actually venture our way all the way inside of this massive structure over here. Obviously, you guys can see we got a little bit of Soviet pride going on. So, at the moment, we're going to bring our small little army over here and we're going to show them who's boss.
All right, well, at the moment, I need to get inside of here. So, obviously, we're going to kind of sprint in. Obviously, kind of in the Hordance nest at the moment. So, got to check all of our corners. But it looks like we do have a couple more guys on the right-hand side on the top as well. All right. You can definitely hear one more guy maybe above us at the moment. Obviously, got to... Beautiful little shot there on his thigh. I don't think he'll be needing that anytime soon, do you guys? I think he'll be all right. All right, so we got a staircase all the way over here. We're obviously going to work our way over there. And I'm going to venture and say that our flag is probably going to be at the very top. 